Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a birthday card made with some dies by Karen Berniston. So this die uses the Circle Charm pop-up. It's been a very very popular die set since it's been released and I haven't used it in a while so I thought I would get it out for a birthday card for a daughter-in-law. Now this one does actually fit in an A2 envelope but I wanted to show you that it will also fit in a um, envelope that we use for the mini slim lines. These are the number eight envelopes. Sometimes they're called a six and three quarter inch envelope as well. And I just get them at uh, both in Canada and the US. They're readily available. These ones were just at our local pharmacy. So this circle tag book does also fit inside a mini slim line envelope. So depending on what envelopes you have or how long your ribbon and embellishment is, that's another option for you. So I'm gonna move my envelopes out of the way. I started out with some pattern paper. I'm pretty sure it's Doodlebug. I just had a random, a random sheet. I love the colors in it. It's either Doodlebug or Lawn Fawn. And then on the back, I used Karen Berniston's Crosshatch Ovals and a sentiment stamp. Oh, and I didn't bring that stamp over um, to show you. But everything that's available is linked on my blog. And my blog is linked in the description box below. So I have the pattern paper, the circle tag book, which comes with all of these circles. This is the inner mechanism. Here is the cover. There's additional dies, a hinge. Those are the support pieces. And then there's also a stitched banner where you can add a banner here and loop it around the borders. This little wavy border that came with the circle charm pop-up. I decided to add some stamps. Our daughter-in-law is a vet tech, so I knew she would appreciate the dogs and cats. And this set is from Your Next Stamp. It's called Photo Booth thumbs up. I'm a huge fan of your next stamp so it's always fun when I can use some of their products and so this was the stamp and die set there and in fact the have a good day and let's celebrate is also your next stamp. That's the cool tag banner sentiments and there are so many great sentiments in this set I get a ton of use out of it. I added some bling here. They're actually like holographic stickers. These ones are from Stampendous. And then my black glaze pen sort of crapped out on me. So I used a Stardust pen instead on their noses and their eyes for a little bit more sparkle. Our daughter-in-law is not a big fan of bling, but I liked the little bit of sparkle on the birthday card. Karen Berniston has amazing assembly videos right on her website. In fact, I went back and looked at the assembly video for this one because I hadn't made the circle charm in quite a while. I will link her website in the description box. And right on the product page for each of her die sets, she has an assembly video. In order to make this card, you do need the circle tag book pop-up die set. So I assume that if you have the die set, you've probably already watched her video and she has great tips and tricks and it's just much better to watch, <laughs> watch the professional do the assembly. I like to just show you different ways to use the dies. The Happy Birthday and the Happy Birthday Shadow, of course, are both by Karen Berniston. They're available separately. And, uh, the Happy Birthday has also been hugely popular over the years, so we were really excited when she came out with a shadow die for it. So there's the Happy Birthday there and the Yappy Birthday to you. I've talked about these before. This is the Simple Strips from Tailored Expressions, and this is the Simple Strips Woof. So it is a single stamp. I think this whole system is brilliant. It's a single stamp. I put it in my Misty. I've written right on the cover to cut my piece of cardstock to five by six and a half inches. That just gives me lots of extra room. Ink it up, stamp it. So one stamping and you get all of these different sentiments. And then of course, there is the Simple Strips die. You line that up, the registration marks also stamp. Line up the registration marks, one pass through your machine and they're all nicely cut and fishtailed for you. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of foam tape because the folds are all to the right of the card. I did add foam tape on the left of the happy birthday and the little sentiment banner there just to kind of balance out the weight. Although we will be hand delivering the card. Hitting that like button makes a huge difference to YouTubers. The more likes a video gets, the more people get to see the video which means it gives us a good opportunity to grow our channels. If you liked my card today, please hit that like button. I'd love it if you subscribe to see more of my cards or tutorials. And that's it for me today.